Hey you guys, it's your girl Katrina and I'm back with another video. But before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you are new here, hey, thank you so much. You could be anywhere, but you choose to be here with me. And if you are my subbies, and hey, I love you guys so much. You guys already know what it is. So we're going to get straight into it. It's going to be a really quick video. Um, we're talking about Thomas Kosmala, number 10. There's different numbers. There's four, there's six different fragrances, but we're talking about number 10. It is a unisex fragrance, so it's for men and women. A lot of people categorize it under um, cologne, but it's not. It's a unisex fragrance once again. So we're going to get into the bottle, how it looks the price, the notes, and that is really it for this video. So first off the box, for all my people who want to know what the box looks like, there it is, nothing much to it. I do like, it's just minimal, kind of clean look, black and white, and then it has like, I don't know, it kind of raises up, but that's cute. So nothing really on it, just says Thomas Cosmala Paris, number 10, it tells you it's a perfume. It tells you that it's 3.3 .3 fluid ounce, and in the back it just says Paris once again, and then the number. My favorite part is getting rid of it. So once again, the bottle is pretty much the same thing like the box with that minimal clean look. Okay, so really clean look. Okay. So like I said before, it is 3.3 .3 fluid ounce. I haven't seen anything more than that or less than that. You can get it at Saks or Dillard's. I got mine at Dillard's. It is 220 and that's just that okay so now let's get into the notes you guys i'll hold it up so you guys can see it there we have it so thomas Cosmala is an amber woody fragrance for both women and men it was launched in 2020 the nose behind the fragrance is of course thomas Cosmala. the top note is lemon zest the middle note is spices and then the base note is musk and amber so for me it works because i love a good base note of amber and musk i feel like you can't go wrong with that um i don't have a lot of fragrances that open up with a lemon zest but i don't mind it for me i feel like you can wear this all year round summer spring fall you have it um, which is really good because a lot of fragrances sometimes you have to pick and choose. So if you can get for this price point 220 and you can wear it all year round, then that's great. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'm really into base notes. I feel like that's what carries the fragrance. So if you're into amber and musk, then you're going to love this. If you're not, I wouldn't do that so much because you just have to really take into play that your base note is what carries you through. Your top note kind of opens up. You got that flirty, you know, you got that flirty feeling and then your middle note is kind of like what carries you through so you get that spices in there they don't tell you what spices which is okay for me i feel like a lot of houses like this um almost like zhirzhoff zhirzhoff herba pura the one i did a review on they have a note in there that's just fruits you don't know what fruits but you know that there's fruits so a lot of houses they kind of keep it top secret they don't want to they want they don't want to tell you and that's fine so that's the note so you know so you have lemon zest at the top note the middle note is spices and then your base note is going to be musk and amber which is beautiful for me i do want to say out of a one to ten i would probably rate this a 7.5 i do get compliments but i only get compliments when i combined it like i combined it with a uh, santel 33 by Le Labo and <sniffs> chef's kiss if you're not following me on tiktok i did like a quick video about it real quick saying that it was great for combos because i got compliments on it it does great for layering i feel but on its own for me it doesn't hold up as much as I want it to. It literally lasts maybe three to four hours. And that's just not enough for 220 for me. I know, uh, and you guys know if you're not new to my channel, that one of my biggest things is I love to get compliments on my perfume. I love for it to last 24 to 48 hours if it really can. Like if I wake up and smell it, baby, I'm going to buy it again. I'm going to buy it again. But for me, I wouldn't buy this again. I love that I have it. I love that I can layer it. I love that I can combo it. I love that I can wear it by itself. Right now I have it on. I smell good. I feel good. I hope I look good on this camera. But I don't feel like I would pay $220 on this because I know that there's other fragrances out there that just complement my body. They last longer. You know what I mean? Like when it comes to perfume, I tell you guys all the time that it's a DNA. Some fragrances like this, I've heard that it lasts long on other people. I've read the reviews where they said they love it so much, it's so strong. For me, I don't really get that feeling and that's okay because that's what perfume is. What works for you is not going to work for me. That's why I tell you guys when you do try this out, please don't just rely on the paper to test it. 
go around spray it on your skin ask for a little tester if if that's what it takes let me show you guys anytime anytime i get perfume you guys i leave out with one of these right here okay okay so you can try out whatever fragrance you want do it for a week make sure you like it make sure it's agreeing with your body because we're not spending a little money out here 220 that's a hefty price for perfume you know what i mean it's a niche fragrance so we're spending that luxury money it is what it is um so that's really it like i said it was gonna be a quick video there's not much to say it's a very just clean easy going free um perfume the fragrance is minimal they don't try to do a lot you literally have like four things um not even four because we don't know what the spices are but they don't it's not a lot it's not complex at all um and like i said great for layering great for com great for combos and by itself it does a pretty good job um i just would like to see it last longer maybe an extract i don't know um but yeah that's it you guys i hope you enjoyed this review video i wanted it to be quick doesn't need to be long thomas kuzmala did their thing i do like the number four which I heard was a lighter version of number 10. Um, someone said it was lighter and then other people said it was um, stronger. But when I was at dealers, they said it was lighter. So I don't know. I don't know, you guys. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I had to bring it to you guys. I had it for a while. I just came back from vacation. So I'm like, let me do this video really quick because I wanted to bring it to you guys. That way I can wear it and have it on my counter. So just a last look one more time. Get your screenshots in. Okay, there you go yeah it's wearing really well on my skin i remember going to dillard's and loving it and yeah i'm still getting that feeling you know when a perfume just takes you to a place so yeah all right i'll see you guys in the next video take care